Okay, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, you might actually hear the phone ringing. I'm not going to be pretty much answering it. I'm going to take a break until later because we have a trade that we're starting to trade in the middle of the night. And so I got to get up at 12 o'clock in the evening to do my trading. Now, I'm making myself my famous Chinese food. Got my shrimp and my vegetable tables and my rice. And they're in the pot and they're cooking. Peas, pores, you know, that type of cooking. And so while I'm doing this in the background, we're going to have a conversation. Because conversations are necessary. And so let's just say I'm going to enjoy this meal today because I have not eaten today. And it is going on 4 o'clock. And the last couple of days, I haven't had an appetite for food. Haven't felt like eating, didn't want to eat, not going to eat, that type of thing. And so we're going to have a conversation. Going to talk about a couple of things, a couple of things that are near and dear to my heart. Okay. The first thing we're going to talk about is I have a reputation. There are people who try to give me a different reputation than what I have, but everybody who knows me, everybody who has ever met me in person knows that I break my neck to keep my word. I try to be honest and fair in all things because the God that I serve requires me to be honest in all things. Now, have I always lived up to that model? No, I've made many of, they're not mistakes because when you do something on purpose, you cannot call it a mistake. So I made many a purposeful errors, and I have done the best I could to make up for those errors. Today, tomorrow, Saturday, I will be working on the web page for the website for letting you guys know how we're going to help you offset your debt. However, Many of you know that in order for us to help you with your debt, we have to speak to your previous creditor. That means you have to give us power of attorney to speak on your behalf. But I've always told all of you that if you're going to give anybody, don't care who they are, don't care what their integrity level is, any type of power of attorney, any kind of power of attorney, that you have to pay attention limit and spell out what the power of attorney covers you can't just give away your power like that okay i told you about the attorney in puerto rico where i told this to the guys who were incarcerated that they have given away all of their power they have given away what's known as general power of attorney general power of attorney doesn't help you you don't want to give away general power of attorney why this is tape, and it's the kind of tape that ducks use, and so I am using duct tape because there is something that needs to be taped for ducks. That's why it's called duct tape. It's used for ducks, so we are duct taping for ducks in a background. Back to the hotel. Well... We literally brought the stupid courts to a halt because they understood exactly what we were doing. Suspending everybody's power of attorney, then reestablishing the power of attorney, and then placing the power of attorney back on record. So what our organizations, AMCF and AmeriLegion, there's a power of attorney associated, limited power of attorney. The reason why limited power of attorney, which is what we did for those guys who were incarcerated, we limited the power of attorney. Why? Because when you do a limited power of attorney, ladies and gentlemen, you maintain control. You're still the grantor of the agreement. So we did this, and we had one individual out of the more than 150 tell us that they didn't feel comfortable with the power of attorney. Now, mind you, we're helping with mortgages and car loan issues, and this person tells us they don't feel comfortable with the power of attorney. I, I literally got offended because now the person is saying 
that there's something wrong with us, that we are, what's the word for it, untrustworthy. He said it didn't feel comfortable. But as we explained to everybody, in doing your mortgage, if for if you could get your mortgage offset for a little under six hundred dollars, a little under seven hundred dollars, then by all means. And that's our aim. But there's too much work going in here. So that's why on the website it explains the conditions of us helping to offset your mortgage. And how there is an interest issue here. And so at the end, we write everything off. We explained this. It's explained on the website. Individual said he didn't feel comfortable with that, as if we were going to come and take and secure his property. So I told him, I said, you have this email saying that we will never do that. That will never be the case. I said, you have it coming directly from us. You have it directly from me. You have it on video me saying this. He said that wasn't enough. So I told him, that's fine. Everything is spelled out on the website, spelled out on video, and it's spelled out in writing. So either you complete the process, or we will wait until you are ready to complete the process. But one way or another, we're not changing our policy for you. None of you are that special. The way we're going to reconfigure how we run an organization just to suit your needs. Now, does that mean we don't care about you? Look. I guarantee every single one of you that there is not a person on this planet who cares more about your financial standing than I do. Go ahead and find one. I dare you. But what I can guarantee you will never happen because this needs to be said. We will never, first, try to take your property. Your property we don't care about. We haven't evaluated it. We don't care about your property. We're not going to put a lien on your property. We are, pay attention. We don't want your property. It's not ours. We don't need it. Lord have mercy. Second, you don't run our organization. So you don't dictate to us how we do things in our organization. Third point I need to make. Ladies and gentlemen, when people sign for mortgages, they don't question the attorneys or the banker or the notary at the closing. And at the closing, as I've shown and proved to every single one of you, you're giving over complete power of attorney and you're indemnifying them. What the? That's right. You're indemnifying them. So even if they did you wrong, there's nothing you can do. That's why you people are losing in court. But again, I digress. Ladies and gentlemen, we're trying to help people. We're not trying to hurt anybody. And go out there and look and ask if anybody's ever been hurt by anything I have done dealing with their mortgages, their property, any of the programs that we're running. Yes, we've had other individuals whom we've hired, and they have done wrong. Lord, they have done wrong. And I've come in and I've did the best I could to make up for that. Defrauded Homeowners of America, please understand, we are getting ready to bring something on your behalf. We're getting ready to take care of your tax credits with the Securities Investment Corporation, SITCOM. So please bear with us. We're sorry. We started these other programs, and they did. Because we've run into some problems with the other programs, with the individuals whom we've hired to help people, and we've run into some problems with the individuals whom are part of these programs. You see, like the individual I just mentioned above, because he hasn't moved forward, because he's been standing there, you know, waving his hands as if he's not going to move, what's happened is that slowed us up. You're only as fast as your slowest clog. Well, he slowed us up, everybody. Now, he's not the only one, so it's not his fault. He, it, ain't, it ain't his fault. That wasn't his intention, but that's the result of his actions. So we sent out a notification to all of the people, all 23 of you who have not, in one way or another, finished the process. Now, not all of them. He's the only person that had a problem with the POA, only one person, not 15, not 20, not 100, not 230, one person. 
took exception because it's a power of attorney. And he says he read it, and yet he doesn't understand what a limited power of attorney is. There's an arbitration agreement, ladies and gentlemen. Arbitration agreement. The arbitrator is not allowed to go contrary to the agreement between the parties. And our agreement, if you read it, requires the parties to be fair and to go according to the original agreement, the intent of the original agreement. Not what somebody read into something. That's, not, that's why it's not reviewable by a judge. Only the arbitrator can determine the value of the agreement. Sorry, a lot of steam because I steam my food, not fry it. So if you've ever seen Chinese food, and don't want to call it Chinese, Asian food that is cooked and they use a lot of grease and everything, well, I do a lot of steam. And the reason for the steam is because I believe it tastes better and I think you get a lot more out of the nutrients that way than just straight frying things. So that's me, different from everybody else I know. Back to the conversation. Many of you have... situations that you're in and that you're dealing with this or you're dealing with that and you're having to deal with that and you're having to deal with this. Look, I can't help you guys with everything. I know you think that I can, but I'm only one person. The person who can help you with everything you need, well, the first person is you. But you don't realize that because you're afraid to recognize that. You're afraid to recognize the power that you have. Again, that's why it's a limited power of attorney, because you don't even realize what power you have even in such an agreement. That's the situation with that individual. He doesn't even realize the fact that it's a limited power of attorney means that there are restrictions, means that the other party can't do whatever they want to do. But what things like the bank and signing those closing documents, all of the rights that are given away, and how you literally completely indemnify them so that you can't even go after them later. And the way we do it is we document the fact that, oh, yes, we can go after them later because that agreement is over and they're still trying to enforce an agreement that is over. So because the agreement has been satisfied, completed, then they don't have indemnification. They only have indemnification as far as the original agreement. That agreement is satisfied. Satisfied. Satisfied, satisfied, satisfied. If the agreement is satisfied, then... What are they foreclosing on? So that means there's no indemnification because there's no longer an agreement that covers indemnification. That's what we're doing. So we're saying because there is no agreement and we can document the agreement has been satisfied, then that means that they are not protected because the previous agreement protected them. Well, that previous agreement is gone. So that means there is a new sheriff, a new agreement, a new ruling document. And that new ruling document says we're there to protect your rights under that new agreement, that they're interfering with the new agreement. All right. Now, that's right. You, If I was doing a video, I could show you all my cooking. You know what? I got to call this young man. There's a young man that keeps asking me to do a show with him on his channel. and Lord have mercy, y'all. I told him to give me a couple of days' notice, and he still ain't done that. And then he going to get in touch with me at the last minute talking about, you ready? And I'll be like, man, I told you I got too many things going on to be ready. So, but I am going to give him the time of day because uh, he did ask. And you guys know I don't do shows. I don't do people's channels. Everybody keeps asking me, and I keep telling them, hey, guys, I ain't got time. And that is the truth. I don't have time. I'm doing too much. You see, while I'm doing a video, I'm cooking. Two birds, one stone. Because you can't just kill a bird with one stone. You got to make sure you hit him in the head where he, he white meat show up. So, two birds, one stone. Anyway, um, so I will be doing the young man's show. I don't know the name of the show. I, I don't even know the gentleman's uh, name. Uh, they did tell it to me. But he, he I, you know, and the information, he can stand his own, and I give him credit for that. He's done a little bit of research, and he understands the research that he's done, you know, and I give him credit that he's done a little bit of research, and 
when we talk, hopefully I might be able to add to the research. You know, he has been respectful from day one. And so because he's been respectful, he gets my attention. He doesn't seem to want anything other than just a conversation. And of course, it'll promote his site, and I'm willing to help do that. You know, um, so back to the rest of y'all. Let's get to y'all's properties. Let's get to y'all's debt. This is what I've been telling everybody because everybody needs to understand it. A lot of people are not getting it because a lot of people don't understand it. And I'm going to do the best I can to explain it so that you understand it. You signed a document. Document said that somebody was loaning you something. That they gave you something of value. You accepted that document. You appreciated that document. And you agreed in that document to be held bound by the information in the document. The document is referred to as a loan agreement. They even call it an agreement. They let you know that you agreed. Okay, everybody in agreement? There you go. Now, because you signed that document, and because they're trying to hold you to that document, you need to be able to show that that document doesn't exist anymore. That document is fake. The law says that document is over. The law says that you fulfilled your obligation when you gave it to the bank, and since the bank put it on the record, ta-da, no more loan obligation. That's what um, House resolution, not the House resolution, joint resolution. That's what joint resolution, June 5th, 1945, is all about, people. That's the whole premise of joint resolution. June 5th, 1945. That's what it's all about. That's what it's talking about, people. So I'm glad that we're finally getting to the crux of things. Now that you know that the joint resolution is talking about the fact that once you tender payment dollar for dollar because they didn't give you dollars, they gave you credit. And you gave them legal tender, which is at par with dollars. Why is it legal tender? Because the Federal Reserve Act is a law of the United States. And Congress, the lawmakers, said, pay attention, that your promissory note was tender. Don't believe me? 412, Title 12, USC, 412, 12 USC, 412, go read it. It says that your promissory note is legal tender. Just that simple. So if your promissory note is legal tender, and you gave it to the Federal Reserve agent, and they're putting it on the record showing that they received it, then that means that you tendered payment, and it was not timely dishonored, i.e., no more debt. Just as simple. This is what we're doing for our people. Does that sound like we're trying to take their property? We're not doing like these companies that they sign up with to save their property. You know those mortgage companies? Yeah, they make you sign up with them, and then you sign a document saying that if you don't pay... Okay, now we do, have a, we do have a contract that if your home is worth a couple of hundred thousand dollars and we save it and you only paid us $580, that we have an agreement that you will pay us a certain amount up to a certain point. Ta-da! Reasonable. Why? Because the original cost for the program has been deferred. I don't think that that was wrong. I think that that is 100% reasonable. And I don't think there's anybody out there can say that such a provision is unreasonable, which is why it's on the website. It's spelled out A to Z so that everybody and their grandfather can understand the process, the program, and what's going on. We're not trying to hide anything. What I take offense to is that individuals will infer that after explaining all of that, after doing videos like this, documenting what our intentions are, that they would still infer that we're trying to do something wrong. That doesn't make sense to me. Ladies and gentlemen, for free, I just gave you the solution to most of your financial issues. You're going to have to go back and listen to what I just gave you for free. Okay? For free. It doesn't cost you anything. The information is free. 
if you use the information, you could save your home and someone else's. You could save your car or student loan and someone else's. But you're going to have to understand the law. Now, there are some, the law requires certain documents be served upon a party, and it requires certain actions be done on your part, and we're doing that for people. We have just sent out for all of our clients, with the exception of those who have not completed certain parts on their end, 26 separate documents. 26. All necessary. Things that necessarily has to be said. Some of it was overkill. Some of it was overstated, had to be stated three or four times. Why? Because we had to make sure that when you go to court or we go to court for you, because in some instances we're going to court for you, we're getting ready to file a lawsuit on behalf of the Defrauded Homeowners of America, which incorporates all of our clients, student loans, car loans. That's what the limited power of attorney is for. Not that you gave me the right to be your attorney, but you gave the Eon Foundation, a sole proprietorship, the right. Now, here's the thing. The very same gentleman who is complaining about us taking our property, we're getting ready to implement the program where we help pay off a person's property. Now, you'll say, well, if you just pay it off, well, I got to sign up for the other program. Well, paying off the property creates the very same problem. A couple of hundred dollars to pay off a property that's worth a couple of hundred thousand is unfair, especially not for the work that we're doing. So there are parameters for doing it. Now, everybody and their grandmama, you must understand, they're not going to like us doing this, but the thing about it, they cannot argue the point. They cannot say that this does not constitute payment in the United States. This does constitute tender under law. It is the understanding of what's being done that creates the, what do you call that, completeness of the agreement between the parties. That's what we're doing. It is that understanding that creates that completeness, showing that the agreement between the parties is over with, said, and done. Okay. We are going to help our clients as best we can. I am going to have the sleepless nights all, just about every night because that's just the way it is. I'm going to do what I can to help my clients and the organization are going to do what they can to help their clients so that each client receives equal attention. That's why all clients are required to do the same thing. We don't, we're not doing nothing special for one client that we're not doing for another. Never was that type of organization. Will never be that type of organization. Really is that simple. We're trying to help our clients. Sorry, um, this is the vegetables and everything sticking to my wooden spoon because I don't use metal. I don't use none of that treated wood junk. I mean, I treat it wood, treated a uh, metal. Not going to be the case. Because I am concerned about my health and I don't want all of that added chemical junk in my food. Now, you can have all of that added chemical junk, but not me. I don't want it. Don't want to be around it. Don't want to be near it. That type of thing. All right. Now, let's get back to the hotel. Ladies and gentlemen, the new program will be just like what you're hearing. It will be new. Nobody has done this before, at least not to my knowledge. The new program will be offered to help every single person who has a mortgage, who has a student loan, who has a car loan with a financial institution. Student loans are with financial institutions. You may not think of it. You may not believe it, but they're all with financial institutions. Or a debt collector. Okay? And there's an original creditor listed. This is our way of putting together a program to help pay that off. The only thing we can guarantee is that the law says that this constitutes payment, and we will provide you proof of payment. This ain't no our style money order thing, so stop thinking it. Although there's a possibility that our style money orders are included. Can't prove that to you, can't say it to you, because we can't, I, cannot expel, I cannot spell out the program to you guys. 
sorry, this is me messing with the eggs. Because, you know, it's Chinese food and it's got to have its wamble eggs. You know what I'm saying, dude? Okay, so while I am cracking eggs, let's go ahead and finish telling you about the new program. Ladies and gentlemen, the new program, if a person has up to $480,000, and as we said on the previous video, well, what if they have $150 billion? Then we only do up to $480,000, and whatever the remainder is, they will have to get the program after the first part is complete. They cannot do it, you know, sign up three times and think that's going to take care of, you know, 1,200,000 and some odd thousand. That's not how this works. It's one person at a time, one account at a time, well, three accounts at a time, up to 480000 That's how simple it is because we have to make it affordable, not for the rich people, the people who can't really afford it, you know, the ones who have all that money sitting up in the bank account that they just let and sit there and fester. No, we, we don't want it for you. We want it for the mom and pop that has been running that store, you know, that neighborhood store, and they really, they can't afford it. They can't afford it. We want those people. We're trying to help them. This is a contribution from me. My tax credit's being utilized to offset your debt based on our contract. That's why the contract is so important. Because if I'm going to be expending my funds, and I have the funds to expend, you do not. If I'm going to be expending my funds to help you, then you're going to appreciate the work that's being done. That's all that's being said. Give me a second to scramble some eggs. Because I got to have my scrambled eggs mixed in my Chinese food, dude. All right, that's done. Yeah, that's right. He does cooking while he's doing videos because he ain't got no choice. And the fact that I got this skillet that's burning piping hot waiting for the eggs to be dipped into it, it's, gone. it's on. All right, so to help each of you understand the landscape, the best thing I can tell you is you're misunderstanding if you think that we're required to explain everything that we're doing. When you go and you buy a car, the dealer doesn't tell you how every single part was added to that vehicle, how, how every single part was used to create that vehicle. You do not expect him to tell you, and he wouldn't tell you even if he tried, because he said, and he will say, that's the manufacturer. When you sign up for one of our programs, you are not signing up with the manufacturer. You're signing up with one of the agencies, not the manufacturer. Some people will understand that, and a lot of you won't. So you only get the basic general customer support answers because we're not here to explain the whole process to you. Some of you have been taking our programs, and you've been doing it because I told you. You can take what we do. No, I never said that. I said you can take what I do and make it your own. Some of you have been taking what we do and have been trying to make it your own, and that's not going to happen no more. I was very clear that our programs are proprietary. I tell that to our staff, and I tell that to all of you. And I'm offended, offended that some of you have copied our documents have used our documents, and have sold it to other people for three times as much as what we do. Because you signed on to our program, and then you come up with your own junk, and you think you're going to do that. So that's why we had to come up with a way for us to do this so that you don't get all the documents, so that when you do it, it won't work for you. That's what the thinking has been for several months now, because I'm tired. I'm tired of you thinking that you can plagiarize our documents, not ask us for any permission, just do it because that's what you want to do. These are not your ideas. Your grandmama didn't come up with these ideas. Okay? The other so-called gurus that you listen to didn't come up with these ideas because nobody else is doing this. Go ahead and listen. Listen to all the other so-called gurus, including those who are currently around, and I don't trust any of the ones who are currently around, but go ahead and listen to all the other so-called gurus 
And notice that nobody has been talking about tax credits before this man. Using them in a way that this man has told you guys to utilize. Nobody has told you what to do with the tax credits once you get them. But this man. And I purposely did not tell you what to do with the tax credits originally. Told you I couldn't tell you. Because I wanted to see if anybody else was going to step up to the plate and tell people, no, this is what you must do. This is what you have to do. So I did a video telling you guys how to handle the tax credits, how to create your special purpose vehicle. Did a video. I even, <laughs> sorry, I'm laughing because I had somebody send me my own video. They, literally, somebody sent me my own video explaining this. And I said, why would you send me something I already know what it's talking about because it's my video? Oh, my bad. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen. Go and listen to the video on a special purpose vehicle. I'm not going to tell you the title. Don't come up here and um, ask for somebody to spoon feed you. I'm not going to tell you the title, where to go and get certain videos, and where to go and look what the title is and all that stuff. No, you're going to have to put in the work. You're going to have to do the research. Like I said, I spoke to a couple, and I spoke to at least four people, but this one I'm speaking specifically about the couple. I told them what they needed to do. We had a consult. I told them what they needed to do. They were asking me, pleading with me to teach them how, show them how, and I said, no. I said, you're going to need to do the research yourself. I said, you are going to have to look the information up for yourself. I said, then after that, after you learn what you need to do, then I'll probably come back in and help you. Took them a couple of months, almost nine. They did the research diligently. And after they started picking up on things, they were starting to do more research. And they started to really get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, they're now receiving my help. No extra charge. Walking them through it. And now I'm going to help them with the next stage of the tax situation. Tell them what they need to do next. No extra charge. Because they've proven to me that they are going to do the work. The rest of you, I did the work, I did the I dare you. Okay? I dare you. So if you really want to prove to me that you can do the work, all right, I'm going to give you something. This is not something I'm working on right now. I've already done this back in 2012, did videos on it, uh, told everybody about it, told everybody why other people went to jail because they didn't do it right. So if you want to do it, want to prove to me you know how to do research, go in. Do the complete research, not just that little cursory stuff by looking at videos. Complete research on IRS OID. Go ahead. And then after you complete that, I'll ask you a couple of questions. And if you can answer my questions, then I will help you. No extra charge. See how that works? You see, my job is to fill in blanks. My job is not to tell you everything. I'm not here to tell you everything. I'm not here to walk you to school, then bring you home, and then feed you, clothe you, bathe you, put you in bed, and wake you up in the morning and bring you back to school again. That's not my job. My job is not to do the whole full round service. I'm not there to cater to you. You want to cater? Then you need to go look in a phone book, if those still exist. I don't work that way. So, whew, so glad I got that off my chest, y'all. Well, anyway... The family with the taxes, they've been able to secure over $40 million worth of tax credits that is documented on their taxes because they did the research. They did watch the videos. They did listen to the information. That gave them the foundation for their research, and they went from there. Without me giving them any other guidance than what's on video. The same thing that's available to all of you. Now, we are going to be doing people's documentation. You will be sending it in. Some of you are going to think that that's all that's involved. No. And that's where you're going to mess up because you're going to start your own program and you're going to get people halfway there. And then they're all going to be telling me, well, they didn't know what to do next. You better believe it because we're not going to tell you what to do next. We're going to do it. You're not going to know because by law, we don't have to share that information with you. 
and we're not going to. Does that make sense? We're not here to help you create your own thing. You want your own thing? You got to go talk to Heavy D. And I don't think he's taking calls right now. And those boys that were with them, I don't think they care to tell you what you need to be doing to get your own thing. Okay, I think they were only worried about their own thing. Ladies and gentlemen, I really am just about finished with my cookings. And I will tell you that I really am going to appreciate this because here it is. I've been up and up and up and up. And what I can tell you for a fact is I have not eaten. And because I has not eaten, sorry, I'm, I used the pot as well. And so I am taking and filling the pot up with water from the sink so that it, it's not really dirty, dirty. But because I let my dishes soak, I'm filling the pot up with water so it will soak. And then I clean it later. All right, matter of fact, there's not even any food in the pot because of how I heated the pot up first before I started cooking with it. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, the new program that we're getting ready to offer is $1,480. That is the base for the program. Why? Because of all that is being done. There are no other strings attached. There is, well, you got to pay us $180 billion if this works. We're not doing that. We don't play those type of games. For this one, if you have a mortgage and your mortgage is worth under 480, but what if it's worth 500? It doesn't matter. 480 is the limit. There is no other way around it. There is no other way of looking at it. So stop creating new parameters. Stop doing the what ifs. I apologize. There's going to be quite a few people who are going to do the what if thing. And we're not asking for what ifs. We're not trying to barter with you. 1480 is a mortgage payment for those of you who have mortgages worth $480. Well, technically, it's not even that. $2,000 and up is mortgage payments currently in the current market. So because we are saving you on your mortgage, because that's our job. Sorry, I got to turn on. This is a propane stove, and I have to turn it back on. I turned it off. Not trying to burn anything. Anyway, we're not trying to get over on you, on anybody. Go ahead and do your research and do your research and see if SACOM has ever gotten over on anybody, Mirror Legion has ever gotten over on anybody, um, AMCF, if they've ever gotten over on anyone, any person, every single person who wasn't satisfied, including one guy whom there was a delay in processing his paperwork. He got to be added to the Fourth Amendment program for free. No extra anything. Only because the delay was partially our fault. And so we had to accept and take responsibility for that. Because that's what my organizations do. We don't leave you guys in a lurch. We don't leave you trying to figure out. Um, there are so many programs where people are left behind. Still trying to figure out what to do next. Do you guys hear me still talking about the defrauded homeowners of America? That I made and gave my word to those individuals? I never promised them tax credits at the beginning, but they're about to get it. They're about to get the tax credits. We've already filed the tax paperwork. Ladies and gentlemen, those of you who are part of the um, Defrauded Homeowners of America, we had to wait until the documents were filed. We had to hand write the documents because the amount of tax credits is too much. It's a lot. You know what I mean, Vern? And now that we filed it, we now can start assigning it. Okay, you know, let me tell you, there was a question asked of the husband and wife team. They asked them, where did the tax credits come from? This is not the IRS asking for that. Where did the tax credits come from? That ain't none of your business where they came from. The fact is that they're there. What do you mean, where did they come from? It doesn't matter where they came from. As long as you see that the government recognizes them, that's all that matters. That's how I told them to basically convey the information. For the rest of you, I cannot create, uh, what's the word for it? I cannot create the 
final result of your fantasies. Many of you think that you can get something from nothing. I've had two calls today asking me about TDA accounts. And I told them that junk you're hearing on video is wrong. There is a proper way to do it. But my consults, I'm not going to just sit up there and do a consult just strictly to tell somebody how to access a TDA account. That's not fair to me, that's not fair to you, and it's not fair to the government. You've got to do your research. Well, I just need somebody to point me in the right direction. No, you don't. You're trying to get rich quick. You're dealing with the TDA. Why are you dealing with TDA? You don't know what you're doing with TDA. You set up the account without knowing exactly what the account is for, why you need the account, what to do with the account. People have told me, I set up a TDA account a long time ago. You certainly did. But what are you doing with it? Well, I was trying to use it because I want to do... You want to do what? That's not what that is for. Well, that's such and such said that that's, it could be used for... Such and such said? Do you know that such and such died five years ago? He died because of what he was saying. Ladies and gentlemen, such and such never existed. Such and such said? Said? Why are you guys listening to what people say? If they're not proving it to you, stop listening to it. So again, with the new program, our job is to assist our clients. And what are we assisting them in? In getting resolved $480 million at least. At least. Three different accounts totaling $480 million. If the account is valued at more than that, it's still $480 million the limit. If you are part of AmeriLegion, if you are part of AMCF, the Mortgage Auto Home Loan Student Loan Programs, then you qualify for $1,040 dollar discount well one thousand thirty five dollars sorry um it's four twenty five so you do the math why because you're one of our previous clients to whom we were helping with debt and we decided to add you to the program but we're only doing five clients and I'll be picking those five clients by Monday we're doing five clients at no additional charge we will notify each five client before we start working on your account. You should know that. Okay, they will be picked at random, and you know me. When I say at random, it will be without my choice. It will be without me selecting it. What I will do is I will put a bunch of emails together, and I will pick five of them at random. I'll probably, well, I can't, yeah, I can say this. I usually will get someone I know to just pick without knowing why they are picking anything. That's my normal routine. And so more than likely in this instance, that's what I will do. I will get someone I know to just pick. Now, I'm going to, because my food is finished, and it has taken me 43 minutes to cook, and like I said, it's 434. I need to eat because I haven't eaten today, and I've been up and up and up. And I need to get some nourishment. So I want to thank all of you for taking the time to listen to this, to know about the new program, to know about some of the things that's going on, and then to understand whether or not we are integrity keepers here at the organizations I put together. Talk to anybody who used to work for us, who do work for us now, you'll see that I emphasize that throughout our meetings. Keeping our word putting our clients first, putting their interests first, making sure we carry out our agreement with our clients because we have an arbitration agreement that says we must do that. So we're going to do it, whether other people agree, not agree, want, want us to do it, don't want us to do it, don't care. So thank you guys for taking the time. Please have a very good day. And I would go back and listen to that stuff about bonds because you might gain something. You know what I'm saying? Arrivederci.